Yo, what's going on guys? I hope everybody's having a great day. Oh, that was cheesy. All right, so I have five tips I wanna share with you guys today on how you can go from coffee getter to full-time money maker. And if any of you guys are upcoming interns, current interns, or looking for an internship, comment below, because I'm really interested to see how many of you guys are looking up these tips to actually help you on your journey. All right, let's get into it. All right, so tip number one, and it may seem obvious, but obviously I see that it's not because some of these people don't actually perform. Actually prepare for your job. Your recruiter or whoever you're talking to when you got this job will tell you what team you're gonna be on, you'll know what languages you're gonna be using, what projects you're working on, what frameworks you're using. So use those languages and frameworks to make some projects before you actually start your job. And even if you already know those frameworks, libraries, languages that you guys are gonna be using, it doesn't matter. Make some projects with them, really deepen your skills and freshen up. You wanna be the best intern at those technologies when you come into this job. It'll really set you apart from the other interns and that's what we want. A great way to actually prepare with these projects, frameworks or anything is like Udemy, YouTube, just read articles on Medium and projects. Obviously, like I stated, get experience using them prepare for your job. All right, tip number two, literally be the hardest working intern for the first month of your internship. First impressions matter, guys, and they stick. So if your first impression is being the hardest worker, they're gonna have their eye on you the rest of the summer, and that's exactly what we want. Because then once you are the hardest worker for the first month, and then you just work the rest of the internship at the other level of the interns, unless they're really crappy, but I'm guessing they're not. So if you just work at the same work ethic as them, the remainder of the internship, you're still gonna be known as that guy that's the hardest worker there. First impressions are so important. So don't be lazy the first month and then kick it up. Be the hardest worker the first month. Make that first impression stick and make it stick well. You can do things like literally staying after and be the latest intern working for the first month. And that doesn't mean just working or doing YouTube videos or you know doing nothing just to be there late. Actually be working on the projects that you are assigned to work on and work on them well. Get your work done. Get it done even before they're due, and then do more work. Go above and beyond. That first month is so important to your success on going from intern to full-time. And also on the topic of first impressions, the first day you're there, go introduce yourself to people, introduce yourself to some of the full-time guys, have some good conversations. And a great way to do this is get them to talk about themselves more than you talk about yourself. People love talking about themselves. So going and talking to them and asking them questions about their job, their life, what they do for fun, all of their hobbies, do that with a few of the full-time guys, they'll absolutely love you. People eat that shit up. Don't be a shy intern like the rest of the interns that are probably gonna come in and not really talk to anybody. Go around, introduce yourself to the other interns, introduce yourself to the full-time people, make them talk about themselves, build some relationships, you'll be golden. Your first day, you'll be known as the guy that is very outgoing and friendly, and that's exactly what we want. And that leads us into tip number three. And tip number three is the most important tip. Be personable. Whenever I'm at the end of my interviews and they say, do you have any questions for me? I always ask this question, what are you guys looking for most in your candidates? And 98% of the time, guys, these people are looking for candidates that are fun and easy to work with. So being personable, being fun, being able to hang outside of work with that coworker of yours is very important because if you don't want to hang outside of work with those coworkers, you probably don't want to work next to them either. Nobody wants to work next to a dick. So building relationships with some of the full-time people and some of the other interns and just be very outgoing and have conversations every day with people, that's so important, guys. Maybe even on your lunch break, go out to lunch with some of those full-time guys, some of those interns. Just be the most likable intern out of the group. That'll make you stand out farther than any of your skill sets, anything. So if you're kind of nervous that you're not really the greatest developer, but you still landed this job, that's fine. Because if you are the most personable and fun intern there is, they're gonna pick you over the hardest working intern if he doesn't have a personality like yours. Personality is very important. And if you guys aren't good with conversations, aren't outgoing, that's fine. You ever heard of fake it till you make it? I'll link some YouTube videos down below guys on how to have conversations, how to be outgoing, how to be more fun, how to not be boring. All those things are gonna help you and lead you to your success from intern to full-time. Again, I just wanna reiterate, this is the most important tip I have for you guys, being a personable intern an impersonable employee. It's harder to fire an employee than hire them. So nobody wants to hire a guy that they don't know for sure about their work ethic. Like if you just go in there for the first month, like I said, and work hard and put your head down, yeah, you're gonna be the hardest worker, but there's gonna be no one there that can actually speak on your behalf and say that you're an awesome person to work with. Yeah, you're a hard worker, but I'm sure there's gonna be other interns that work just as hard as you 
or close to the level that you are, hopefully you're working harder than them. If those interns that are working a little less hard than you have a better personality than you, they're gonna pick those interns over you. So you need to build those relationships. That's very important. And on the topic of hard work, that leads me into tip number four. Don't just write code fast just to write code so you get your work done. You need to write clean code, code that is readable. A thing that sets good developers apart from very good developers, this little gray area right here, is gonna be writing code that anybody can read. Obviously, anybody that can code and develop. But that should be your goal, writing code that is so readable and clean. Yeah, cool, you show off that you can do some really advanced stuff, but if it's not readable, no one wants that, because in four months when another employee gets hired and they have to work on the code base and say they have to work on some of the things you worked on, if it's not readable and it's not really easy to understand, there's not comments saying what's going on, they're probably gonna break something, and it'll take a lot more time refactoring the code and fixing what you messed up than actually just going in there and working on your really readable code. You need to treat your code like a little baby. Kiss it, love it, nurture it. But for real, you need to actually take time with your code, take pride in your code, and build really clean architecture. And if you guys don't know that much about clean architecture, a book I really recommend is Uncle Bob's Clean Code. And you don't need to read all of it, but the beginning third of the book really goes over some really good design principles, ways to write your methods better, ways to name variables better, how to comment code well, and how you should actually comment code rather than how most of the people comment code. That's just a book that I read, and it really helped me in my architecture with projects and apps that are really big, which is what you're gonna be working on at an internship. All right, tip number five, final tip. If none of those other tips help you guys, I really don't know what to tell you. So say you don't get that offer at the end of the summer. What are you gonna do now? Well, if you didn't get that offer and you actually did apply all these tips to the best of your abilities, some of those full-time guys that you made relationships with, go and ask them why you're not getting that full-time offer. And if they're not willing to give you feedback, which most of the time they should, and if they don't, that's not a company you wanna work for anyways. But on the chance that they do give you this feedback, Back, take that feedback, internalize it, and work on those things that they told you is the reason why you're not getting a full-time offer. So then next time around, when you're an intern again at a different company or the same company, you can apply that feedback that they give you and you should for sure get that full-time offer. 90% of the time, guys, if you actually apply these tips, you're going to get the full-time offer. And I know all of you guys are students and you're busy with projects and obviously with internships, the end of the semester is coming up and you have a lot of things to do, papers to write, projects to make, exams to study for. And if you're one of those people that's like, oh, I don't have time to do all these tips and prepare and all of this stuff, then you might as well unwatch this video <laughs> because if you're not willing to put in the work to get the full-time offer, you're not gonna get the full-time offer. It's that simple. You need to be a hard worker in the industry. And if you're not willing to be a hard worker, I don't know what to tell you. A lot of the times we have to go above and beyond. There are so many developers out there that you're competing with to get these full-time jobs. You need to be a guy that works as hard as he can to get to his goals, guy or girl. <laughs> to get to his or her goals and reach those levels that you set for yourself. And I know we all have free time in the day, regardless of how busy you are. So put in the effort to actually prepare, study, research all these technologies and apply all these tips to get your full-time job. And it'll be worth it once it's over. Because obviously why you're serving this internship is because you want a job. So put in the work. That basically wraps it up for all the tips I have for you guys. But if you did enjoy this video, please hit that like button and subscribe and help me build this community so we can help more people out and we can build a family. Let's build a family together. All right, peace out guys.